Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. If you guys hear any noise in the background, of course that is my fan. We already know the drill. It is hot over here. But in this video today, I will just be doing a quick little get ready with me. I have a hat on because my hair is a hot mess. But in this video, I'm using two things that I have been dying to use in a video. I've used it a million times. I've recorded these videos a couple times and they just never turn out right. But I finally got it right this time. I promise. I promise. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am extremely in love with this palette. This is hands down the best palette I have used. Sorry, Tartlet, but she took over. And the Pro Glow from L'Oreal. This foundation is pretty good. Not oily girl friendly, but I do mix it with my Pro Matte and it is perfect. So if anybody's asking, I mix it with my Pro Matte and it gives me the texture that I need for my combination skin okay anywho i hope you guys enjoy this video like i tell you all the time like comment share subscribe follow me on instagram and snapchat and yeah enjoy and as always we're going to start off with the eyes so i'm just using my urban decay primer potion um i'm using the anti-aging one and i'm blending that in with my fingers and just to set that primer in place, I'm using a fluffy blending brush and my RCMA No Color Powder just to make sure that all my eyeshadows blend very easily. As my transition shades from this palette, I'm starting off with Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and I'm just using my number 12 brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm popping that into the crease. Then I'm going into the color Love Letter and I'm popping that into the crease as well and I am blending like my life depends on it. But I am concentrating most of the color on the outer edge of my eye. Here we go. And just to deepen up that color a little bit, I'm going to use Red Ochre and I'm going to pop that into the outer corner of the eye as well. Honestly guys, these colors are very pigmented. I did not have to pick them up that much and these eyeshadows are very creamy. I love this palette. So I decided midway through that I wanted the outer V to be a, lot, a little bit more darker. So I went into Cypress Umber and I concentrated that on the outer V and bring the excess into my crease a little bit, halfway into my crease. And back into Love Letter, I'm just going to pop that over Cypress Umber just to help blend it out and not to have that much of a dark color on the outer V of my eye. So I'm going back into my transition shades. Oh guys, don't mind my nails, okay? I'm getting them done really soon. And I'm just using that eyeshadow to help blend out any harsh edges. You want all your eyeshadows to look like one big happy family. And for the lids, I'm using Bon Fresco, bon whatever, however you say it. It is my favorite color in the palette. It is so cute and I love it for a lid color. And I'm just packing that on to the lid. And I'm just taking one of my old blending brushes. It has absolutely nothing on it. And I'm just help using it to help blend out any harsh edges. And then I'm taking up a brush with nothing on it. And I'm doing the same thing. Just help blend out all of these eyeshadows. Blending is key, guys. Then I'm taking a makeup wipe because I was too lazy to find any tape. And I'm just cleaning up the outer corner of my eye to get it ready for that fleeky wing liner that you guys saw before. Onto the face, I'm using my primer water. Mind you guys, I filled my pores and mattified my face already with my primers. I'm just using this to refresh whatever primers I have on the face. Then I'm color correcting under my eyes with my Smashbox color correcting stick in dark. Look less tired, so it's the darkest one. I can't find it anywhere guys, so if you find it, please let me know. Then I'm just taking my beauty blender just to blend out my color corrector. Yeah. 
so I was able to get my hand on the Pro Glow foundation from L'Oreal but I don't like the consistency that much so I mixed it with my Pro Matte and I am in between the two darker colors that's another reason why I had to mix them and I'm just packing that on and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. So I officially fell in love with this concealer. This is the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I love the color. I love everything about it and it is super easy to blend. So this is like my go-to concealer at the moment. So I'm just applying that in the highest areas of my face just to highlight and of course I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. Please don't forget to blend out the edges of your concealer just to make sure everything is seamless. So I'm just using a tiny bit of foundation and blending it out. Now I'm just going to set everywhere that I apply the concealer with my Sasha Buttercup powder. And instead of me baking, now I've been just pressing the powder into those areas and then just dusting away whatever excess powder is left back. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my RCMA powder and a flat top kabuki brush and I'm pressing the powder onto my face and then blending it all out. To contour, I'm using my um, Vera More Cosmetics powder in antique brown and this brush I got it from a very very old brush set so I don't even know like where the brush set is. I found it on Amazon but I've been using this brush to contour and then another brush to blend everything out. To clean up that contour I'm using a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup powder in my beauty blender. So for my all around face powder I'm using my mineralized skin finish in dark and I'm using my brush that I got from Vanity Planet and I'm packing it on to the face and I'm just blending everything out. Oh and I have a discount code down below for this brush set from Vanity Planet. And then I'm using my mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm using that to help blend out my contour. This part you do not have to do this is just because your girl is extra and I'm just using it to help contour my forehead and underneath my chin for my wing liner you guys know I love this gel liner to death I'm using my morphe gel liner in slate and my mac 210 brush and I honestly only use this I didn't even use my NYC liner because my wing liner came out so neat this time For lashes, I'm using my most favorite lashes from House of Lashes, and these are Pixie Lux lashes. They're so cute. I decided to open up my eyes a little bit, so I decided to use white eyeliner from NYX to line my waterline. Right underneath my eye, I went in with Cypress Umber just to deepen under my eye, just a tiny bit. And then I decided to follow Cypress Umber with the colors Love Letter and Red Ochre just to give it that pinky look just like my crease.
can't forget that pop of shimmer in the inner corner and I'm using the colors Vermeer and Antique Bronze because I wanted the color to come off a little more pinky. I wanted everything to just be pink, okay guys? I'm obsessed with pink, okay? And this color, this look was just perfect for your girl. For my bottom lashes, I'm using my Extended Play Giga Black Mascara from MAC. And then for my top lashes, I am using my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. To take away that powdery look, of course, I'm drenching my face with some Fix Plus from MAC. And then for my highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca, which I have not used in a long time. And I don't know why I put it down, but this highlight is popping, as you can see. And then I'm lining my lips and filling them into the center with my Cork Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'm going back into an oldie but goodie, my favorite liquid lipstick from Kat Von D, which is in the color Bow and Arrow. Like I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I tell you all the time. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Instagram name has changed, so check down below what my new Instagram name is so you can stay updated with your girl. And on top of that, I would love it if you guys recreate this look. I would really, really enjoy it. So if you guys can, send it to me on Instagram in the DMs. Yes, yeah, I can slide up in my DMs and send me some pictures. And you can send it to me on Snapchat if you want to. And again, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.